Hi, I'm, I'm Lyle Kane. I'm going to show you a technique today using alternating mattress and simple sutures for labor repair using the 1.8 millimeter knotless fiber tack anchor. This first case is a 22 year old female collegiate one division gymnast, uh, elite level, who's had two years of posterior shoulder instability. Uh, she was able to compete with this, get through competition with some modifications. Uh, she took uh, off from bars and some, certain events, but had a recent injury which resulted in bicep tendon subluxation and a slap tear. On physical examination, she had obvious posterior shoulder instability with apprehension, uh, labral grind, and labral signs. She also had bicep tendon pain and popping and some mechanical symptoms for a bicep tendon with a dislocated bicep tendon. MRI scan showed a posterior labral tear, a slap lesion, and bicep tendon dislocation out of the bicipital groove. The plan for her surgery was to do an arthroscopic posterior labral repair, a slap repair, and a subpectoral bicep tenodesis for the bicep tendon dislocation. For the surgical technique, we have several pearls. Uh, I think it's much easier to prepare the posterior glenoid from the anterior portal. So in this particular case, I'm looking through a visualization through an accessory posterior viewing portal. The shaver is coming through the anterior soft spot or rotator interval portal, and that's the easiest way to prepare the posterior inferior glenoid. Initially, we place a 1.8 knotless fiber tack anchor through the accessory posterior portal while visualizing the anterior. Uh, I like to do a mattress suture along the lowest portion of the labral tear. Uh, this has several benefits. It reduces the capsular tissue to the labral neck. It prevents the labrum from rolling off the glenoid when you release traction and provides for nice fixation up against the bony bed. This fiber tack anchor has a nice configuration where the shuttle stitch has a round end and a flat end. The round end indicates the loop portion of the suture, which we use for passage of the repair stitch. So after we pass the repair stitch through the labral tissue, we grab the rounded loop suture, pull it out the portal with the repair stitch, and then shuttle the suture through the anchor for the final knotless repair. As I continue up the glenoid from inferior to superior, I like to alternate sutures using a mattress suture low followed by a simple suture, followed by mattress suture, followed by simple suture. This allows for maximum fixation and tissue compression along the glenoid neck with the mattress suture and maximum labral bumper for the simple suture. If you look at these simple sutures critically as you release tension from the shoulder, oftentimes a simple suture allows the labrum to roll off the glenoid and roll down the glenoid neck. The mattress suture will prevent this. This knotless mechanism, as you'll see, allows maximum tensioning. You can put as much tension as the tissue can tolerate for older patient population with worse tissue quality, we pull in the suture less and do less tension. For these young athletes, a 22-year-old gymnast, we're able to put a lot of tension on this labrum and really get a good labral reduction. The last thing I like to do is a posterior capture closure. Uh, on all of my unidirectional posterior instability cases, I think preventing capsular laxity, uh, venting the capsule. We know in the hip and other joints that, that having a capsular hole causes some instability in certain cases. So I use the suture lasso uh, to pass the suture through the posterior portal and close my portal prior to closure. The next portion of the case included the slap repair. In this particular case, because of her biceps instability, we had performed a biceps tenotomy for later subpectoral tenodesis. The curved fiber tack drill guide makes it nice that you can get a posterior superior slap portal and anchor placement out of the anterior superior soft spot portal. The curved guide allows you to get the angle properly so that you can put these anchors in without going through the rotator cuff. So we'll put the anchor at about the 11 o'clock position. It's passed through the labrum just behind the biceps insertion and passed in a simple configuration using the knotless mechanism to tie down the labrum. As you can see, we get a nice superior labral repair. In terms of final repair, uh, as you'll see, we have a mattress stitch at the lowest portion of the repair, uh, followed by a simple stitch that rolls the labrum up and forms a nice bumper. Um, this alternating configuration allows for restoration of the bumper, maximum compression of labral tissue against the glenoid neck for better healing, uh, and ligament tension reestablished by the uh, inferior glenoid ligament being pulled back to the glenoid neck. In terms of results, uh, we have implanted over 4,000 FiberTech anchors in Birmingham at the American Sports Medicine Institute. Uh, just over the last four months alone, we've implanted over 400 of the knotless 1.8 millimeter FiberTech anchors. Uh, overall, we've seen excellent anchor performance. It's a nice 1.8 millimeter small drill guide and hole uh, that allows for many points of fixation for these difficult labral tears. Uh, it allows less bone removal, which we feel gives you less risk for glenoid rim fracture in the future. Uh, the anchor deployment is very reliable and functions in all types of bone quality. It's easy knotless mechanism, allows for individual tensioning. So for the large labrum tissue and the athletes, you can really tighten this thing down and get good hard fixation. 
It gives you a strong, low-profile, coreless fiber tack repair with no knots for no potential damage to tissue from the knot placement. It allows for knotless suture to be placed in a mattress or simple stitch configuration as we've shown in this video, and eventually gives you the same or maybe even better repair in a final repair than the traditional knot tying. But you have less surgical time and without the uh, knots until you have a lower profile configuration. So overall, this is an excellent repair technique. I like the mattress and simple stitch alternating because of the uh, healing response as well as the bumper that you restore, and I think you'll be happy with this repair.